Hello everyone, it's Creeping E. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody just have a wonderful day and that your day is going good as mine and that you're in the best of health. Today I'm just talking about the different weather and different cultures in different countries. And I'll make this short, sweet, and quick to the point. We're back in the box to take care of some business so we can move to the next level of our lives, which is Europe. Also, on top of that, we're in Vegas right now. And when we first got here, the weather was 72, 73. But now, it's yesterday was 111. And today is supposed to be 117. Now, this is just Las Vegas, so this is something that you should consider when moving to Las Vegas from California or wherever you're from. It's more humid in LA in California, San Bernardino, and you get the fog and everything from the ocean, the Pacific Ocean that is. And um, I'll say the most I've ever seen it get up to was 100 and that was it. But here in Vegas, it's a different story, okay? You can get up to 117, you can get up to 118, okay? It affects your car, uh, a lot of people go through their batteries a lot faster. That's just a climate that happens in Vegas. Um, you also got to consider your power bill, your utility bills, especially the power bill because it's going to be constantly running. The only break you might get is at night because at night it's still 90, close to 100 degrees at night during the summer months. Okay, so um, this is just something to remember. And prepare yourself for the climate. That means clothing. The shirt I got on is wickable. Okay, I had to go buy some very, very wickable shirts that will keep me cooler on my outside. And on top of that, your phones. Your phones, I don't care what kind of phone you got, whether it's an Apple phone or an Android phone, when that heat hit that phone, okay, it will go out. And it will tell you that the temperature is too hot and you can't use that phone until it cools off. I know this happens to a lot of my Republic homies um, that are out there on those trucks every single day. And when your AC goes out, now you're dealing with 106, 17, 18 from outside and you're dealing with 190 degrees from that heat coming off that engine. So ain't no one in the world, your phone gonna stay cool unless you put it in a plastic bag or something put it in an ice box in your cooler if you have any ice left if your water is cool <laughs> okay because for the most part the company can care less as um, long as the truck runs and you got AC or not that's going to be your truck so those are some miserable days I've had to go to Walmart uh, some days my wife had to order some some cooling towels and I used to actually wear them on my head and it used to cool me off real so good. Put it on my head, put it under my neck. And then I take, I take it off when it starts getting dry. Dump it back in some water, any kind of water. And it'll cool you off in at least, at least an hour, hour and a half. So my prayers goes out to all the brothers that are in um, Arizona. Because they're going through it the worst. But to me, it ain't all about money. I got to be comfortable too, okay? <laughs> so we're just in here, in this city, passing through. But this is one of the things that I don't miss, 118 degrees. And when it gets that hot, I always pray for my buddies that are out there on the trucks, on those routes, on the bulk routes, picking up couches, picking up washers and dryers, and all these things.
pull out couches with the frame still in them you know the kind of couch you just lay out um, and everything else that they got to pick up in the heat for hours I heard they're doing a lot of overtime now and my prayers uh, with them so these are things that you might want to consider when you're moving to a place get to know the temperature and the climate because it might be for you that's why I always tell people on the channel it ain't good to go out there and just be buying everything that you want to buy um, spending all that cash and doing this doing that because once the weather conditions change you're gonna wish some of you <laughs> that you've made a different decision but by then you're stuck so, just want to hit you up with that, and let you know what's cracker lacking. And when it gets 108 to 19, I'm standing in the house, and I ain't about to shrivel up, okay? I got my shirt, my Nike, my, my Reebok shorts on, Reebok shirt on. I'm nice and cool. I keep it this way, have some cold drinks, and pray for those that got to work out in the elements. So, in the meantime, between the time, life is to be enjoyed. Hit that subscription and notification. See you on the next video. So, you guys have a wonderful day. Stay safe. 